Good point. Good point. So uh, you will not become a dietitian with just one course and uh, you will not heal yourself if you have dietary issues. If you do have dietary issues, go see your general practitioner, go see a, a, a registered dietitian. Uh, do not rely entirely on the course. But what you will get out of the course is, again, a, a huge and general understanding of why and how what you eat affects your health. So you will be able to modulate your health. I'm not saying this in a medical way. Again, if you have health issues, go see your physician, uh, your dietitian. You will not become a specialist overnight. Uh, it takes many, many years of uh, research, of studying, of frustration, of being rejected. Uh, so, so it's not just one course. But uh, again, you will have, uh, you will learn more or less everything you need to know on why and how diet affects your health. And, and also you will learn what you will eat in the future. Because as I said at the beginning with the example of meat, uh, meat is a typical uh, food that makes you think you cannot, eat, you cannot, you will not be able to eat as much meat as you, as you like. It's not me who's saying that, it's arithmetics. You are putting so much stress on the planet that you will not be able to, to eat as much uh, uh, animal protein as we wish. So again, we need to match uh, our health our needs, our taste, our uh, preferences, food preferences, dietary preferences with planetary health. Uh, the two of them go together and if we take care of our planet, our planet will take care of us. And if we take care of our diet, our diet will take care of our health, so to speak.